Hi guys, thanks for popping by. For those of you who have subscribed, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome to Kylie's Kitchen. Today we are doing my honey soy chicken salad. Now, it is a little famous on Instagram only because I put it up there so many times. It's my go-to recipe, especially when I want a salad with a little bit of guts. So let's give it a go and uh, start cooking in Kylie's Kitchen. <music> This is roughly what you're gonna need. I say roughly because I always seem to forget just one little thing, but pretty much any knife or spatula or oil frying pan that you have in the kitchen is going to be what you need generally anyway. So you'll always have it. We're going to do a, uh, a salad for just one person. So if you obviously wanna make it for more than one person, all you need to do is double up. And I'm making it simple so that, well, sometimes Kelsey Lee and I are at home on our own and I just want a salad for myself. So this is how I would make the honey chicken salad if I was home and I just want a dinner for one. We're going to do a mixture of lettuce. You can actually use whatever you want. I'm just going to tell you what I normally do. I don't always use the rocket, but I'll use rocket, baby leaf spinach, iceberg lettuce. You'll also need a bowl for your finished product, frying pan, tongs, spatula, salt and vinegar, oil, pepper. You'll need some cashews and if you're interested and like them, pine nuts. I'm not going to put the pine nuts in today because I love putting pine nuts in a load of salads but I usually choose other salads for them but they do taste very nice so if you want to add them, you can. One tomato and an avocado. One tablespoon measure small can of corn, soy sauce, and also some honey. That's what I had in the cupboard. So today we are using an organic raw honey for no specific reason. Let's get cooking. Of course, you know, we cook with gloves. So here we go. I'm going to just chop up a little bit of iceberg lettuce. Now, depending on how much lettuce you would like of each, depends on how much you're going to put in. So, I do it as I go. And it also depends on how hungry I am. So I'm kind of gonna just get an idea inside the bowl of how much lettuce I would like, because the chicken's going to sit on top. And can you tell I chose I think the biggest bowl in the cupboard. I'm happy with that because my ingredients are going to go on top as well as the chicken. So I always wash my lettuce. So I'm just going to put this now through some water, spin it out and then pop it back in the bowl. So I'm just going to spin my lettuce. I remember when my mum used to do it the good old way. She did have one of these but before then um, she used to put it in a tea towel and then just tap it dry. I did it too, I remember. The good old days, you know, when I was a youngster. So simple guys, going to love it. Now, I've changed my mind, I'm adding a shallot. I love a bit of onion. Don't have to have a shallot if you don't want to. Another one is a Spanish onion, the purple onion. I'm going to have it cut down the center, just to make sure that those pieces are a little bit smaller. Now for one person, I would probably do half of one shallot, because we don't want it to be too oniony. So here we go, sprinkle that in there. Push the rest to the side and clean that up later. 
We also have an avocado, tomato, and some corn. Corn's going in. One tomato, I'm probably going to use about anywhere between half to three quarters of a tomato. I don't know about you, but I have funny days where I love tomato and other days where I'm not so in love with it. So I would say that half tomato is actually the right amount for that size bowl with everything else that we've got going on. Next is our avocado. Now, as much as I love avocado for flavour, I also love it because I think it looks good on top. So I'm going to keep a couple of strips. A little longer for the top, for decoration. There's a little bit of uh, precision going on here, can you tell? That can be for the top, for decoration. And then the rest, as you can see, I've sliced it long ways. I'm going to make it into some tiny squares. Again, just so it looks good and it doesn't look all smashed on the top of my salad. Just going to scoop around the outside and right underneath. Then you'll see we've got all little squares to pop into the salad. So that is pretty much it for that part. We now need the frying pan because we are going to fry up some cashew nuts. I also said you can use pine nuts if you wish. And then I'm going to show you how we do our really simple honey soy chicken dinner for one. So now we're going to cook the cashew nuts. The frying pan is nice and hot, ready for them to sizzle a little. Bit of olive oil. Might be too much for some, but that's exactly how I like it. So as you can see, I'm just going to wait for that oil to sizzle just a little bit because I want to make sure that the frying pan is piping hot before I pop in my cashew nuts. Okay, in we go. So as I mentioned, you can also put in some pine nuts, completely up to you. It does make the dish look nice and it tastes really lovely as well. But I'm going to be doing a couple of other salad dishes. So I want to add the pine nuts into a dish where I'm going to use some beautiful goat's cheese. And I just want to make sure that not every single salad that you have from my recipes is going to be the same. So as you can see, that's so hot. So they're heated up really, really quickly. Bit of color, straight back into the bowl. Now, if you were to do pine nuts, same thing. Just going to show you that they'll, they'll heat up really quick. So once the frying pan is up on high and you know that it's piping hot, you can also bring it down a little bit between medium to high, just so you don't completely burn the outside of the nut. But see, as you can see, quite quickly you'll get that colour. And that's what you want. You just want them to be nice and warm. So we're going to now cook our chicken. Frying pan is nice and hot. A little bit of... I always use virgin olive oil to cook with, it's just what I do. Feel that warmth, feel that heat. And we're going to pop our chicken in. Now what I like to do is pretty much seal the chicken on either side. And I want to make sure that I use the honey in a way that it's going to give me a bit of a sticky, sticky honey chicken. But I still want it to be on the frying pan and fried rather than poached for this particular flavour or steamed for that matter. So a little bit of salt and pepper while we can see the underneath layer cooking away. I don't think I make nearly many dishes without salt and pepper. So much flavour. I feel like I'm under pressure. Like there's someone coming over for dinner or... Not that I'm in a rush, it's just like you always want things to work out. Don't you hate it when you're in the kitchen and sometimes you make such an effort that it just doesn't work out? And it tastes horrible and you throw it out, you waste food and then you just get takeout. Okay, now I'm just going to flip that chicken over. I can feel it. I can feel that the other side is cooked enough. 
Also remember that most of the heat in the frying pan is in the central area, so you, know, you want to mix it around a little bit and make sure that the bigger parts of the chicken are closer to the center of the frying pan. That's where most of the heat is. Now I'm going to start with one tablespoon of honey. Normally I have the honey that you just squeeze in. Not today, can you tell? Just to make it so much easier for me. <laughs> now this is where I want my chicken to get sticky and stay in the frying pan. Turned up the temperature a little bit. It's all simmering away. You can see that it's going to get that little bit sticky. Sometimes you just have to leave things and not keep moving them around. I know I like to feel like a chef, because I'm not one, but um, if you leave it sit, it will actually then become that sticky honey feeling that I'm wanting. Can you see that it's actually starting to do that now? But as I said, my only concern is that I never want chicken. There we go. Oh, I can smell it already. You never want chicken to sit in there for too long. That's why I've made the pieces quite small. And now, time for the soy sauce. Dash of soy sauce. Just enough to cover each piece. Mix that through. And there you have it. So easy. There is your honey soy, literally, honey soy chicken. Okay, so here we have it, our pre-prepared salad that I showed you how to put together, so easy. And then we've got our honey soy chicken. We've also got our roasted cashews, salt and pepper, oil and vinegar. So this is roughly how much that I would put in of the salt and the pepper. This is one of my favorite parts. I like a little. Another thing that I really, really love at the moment is chili flakes, and I know it's not for everyone, but if it was me, I would definitely be adding in some chili flakes. And then next is our oil, virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar. I think I pretty much put oil and balsamic vinegar in nearly every single salad. I know I need to get a little bit more creative. I will, but it's just my favorite. So you just always end up using your favorite. And then we add the chicken. I do like things to still look nice. I um, don't always put too much attention to detail, especially if I'm starving and in a hurry. I want to get all that juicy yumminess. Our roasted cashews, a few around the outside, a couple in the center. There we go. And then, if you want, just a little bit of avocado to make it look pretty on the top. And there you have it. Honey soy chicken salad for one, coming up. You know what time it is. It's called lunchtime. <laughs> I put the chicken on the top because I can actually stab it then. Mmm. I think that the, um, the chicken is nice and sticky, which is good. I like the softness and the sweetness that the avocado gives. For me, the, the, the balsamic vinegar, it's, um, it's just, it always just seems to be perfect in a salad. And roasted cashew. Does anyone not like cashews? Well, there you have it. It's got my tick of approval. So there you have it, my honey soy chicken salad for a summer's day. Be sure to subscribe, press the red button below in the description and I'll see you next time.
easy, especially the honey and soy chicken part, which probably sometimes can sound really dointing. Doint, dointing. Dointing or doint, dointing? Don't know. <laughs> I actually don't I even don't know how to say you. it now. <laughs> how do you say it? Da daunting. daunting, thank you. Don't, don't make me do that whole thing again. Do I have to do it again? Hi guys. Uh, yep. Hi guys, thanks for popping by. For those of you who have subscribed, did I say for, yeah, yeah it is. For, the, for those of you who are subscribed, welcome back. 